So here we have the Shapeshifter 2.0, and the Shapeshifter has been one of our most popular backpacks, and so many people have said, you know, what can you do that's actually better on version 2.0? So that's what we're going to talk about. So first, let's just review the shape-shifting concept. This is uh, actually the new size, it's the 15, it's the smaller size, but anyways, you can see it's fully zipped closed. And so what happens is that when you unzip the compression, it gets bigger. So the purpose of this is that when you're actually doing photography, you can have your gear on the inside, you can take it out, you know, put your belt on, and then if you need to, you can make this much slimmer. So like when you're traveling on the subway or the bus or something like that, it's not like this huge foam box on your back that's just getting in the way. It, it really is a travel-centric backpack because it works for so many different things. It works for camera gear or it works for anything else that you may be traveling with. So let's dive into the inside. And this is the 17 inch, this is the 15, this is the 17, so we have two sizes. So as you can see, we have this pouch layout and it's a little bit of a different layout than your traditional camera bag, but it provides a lot of different flexibility. So in the top pocket, you can fit a pro-sized or gripped body. Got your 70 to 200 in the large pocket here, 24 to 70. We have this new uh, sort of wrap function that you can fit a gripped body in it, or you could fit a standard size body with a small prime on it. Um, we just wanted to add more flexibility and function because that's what people loved about this bag. Right. Um, you can you can put an apple in one of these pockets. You can put your water bottle. Um, right. You can most fit your 14 to 24. Right, most photographers are familiar with the wrap concept. So we just took that concept and we put it into the bag. And what's cool about that is that you can put really irregular items in there where you couldn't do that before. Exactly. And so also in terms of the pockets, it's really, it was originally designed for kind of that trifecta for photojournalists, which is two pro size bodies, 70 to 200, 24, 70 and a wide. But of course you can use these pockets for for any purpose. For whatever you want. So they're made yeah. out of a stretchy neoprene material, so they provide a little bit of padding, but also a little bit of flex. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can also cinch them down to so make sure nothing um, nothing rolls away. Now is the color new too? It is, yeah. We have gray pouches, mm -hmm. um, so you can see them a little bit a little bit clearer, and also this blue interior, so in case there's a lens cap in there, you can see that, that pop of color, right. see that contrast really easily. And then the pockets are similar to what they were before. Right, we just have some organizer pockets here, um, some little stash pockets for quick access, and then a zipper pocket up here. Okay. So in the back, we mm -hmm. actually it does have laptop capability, um, and we also added a uh, tablet capability too. So here we have a 15 inch laptop. It can, the 17 can take up to a 17 inch laptop. Of course, the 15 takes a 15 inch laptop and also tablet carry. So um, a full size tablet, even up to an iPad Pro, one of your 12 inch um, tablets can go in the back as well as the front up here. So if you do want to carry it for quick access to the front, you can do that. However, if you're carrying a tripod, you probably don't want to squish your tablet right there in the front. So tablet uh, uh, tripod carry is on the front. We provide straps that connect here and also connect here at the bottom to help secure the tripod. And you can put one or two feet in this front pocket to help it um, not drift all the way down. Another pivotal improvement on this particular version is that we added this horizontal zipper on the top. And this is one of those pockets for your cell phones or keys or anything that you need immediate access to. So this is, a, I think, a, a big improvement. And then on the inside here, you can see there's an organizer, there's a zippered pocket for things that you need secure on the inside there. And then on the back, another great feature on this product has to do with this horizontal band. It looks normal, but actually it's connected with hook and loop. And the purpose of this is that you can put it on to the handle of a roller so when you're traveling through the airport or even around town, you can take that weight off of your back and actually put it on to the roller. Uh, also has a very comfortable harness. This is one of the most comfortable harnesses that people say in the industry. Um, they absolutely love it from our uh, Shapeshifter series and also our Streetwalker series. Also has a simple webbing waist belt. Um, it's great that it doesn't get in the way if you're traveling a lot, but if you do want to add a little bit of extra padding, you can take our Pro Speed Belt or our Thin Skin Belt and lift up this panel right here and then just drop in the belt. 
So this is great if you're working with modular components um, and you want to be able to put the backpack on or take the belt off. It's just this quick, easy on and off. Yep. So actually what it allows you to do is you can have the belt on and you can reach behind, release the Velcro flap while still having the belt on and take the backpack off. Just like that. So now I have to take my backpack off. I have my modular belt here. Mm -hmm. I can take my lens out. I can change it up yep. as I need to. Another great improvement on these packs is that we've added this water bottle carrier. And so the water bottle carrier is removable. Uh, so it's optional. But this was also a request that we had for the backpack um, to make sure that people could carry water with them. Exactly. So it just attaches via these mm -hmm. little little webbing loops right here. So you can take it on, take it off, depending on what you're doing. So right. that you can make sure that your bag is full of gear and have your water on the side. So let's talk about this size real quick. Let's compare the difference. Okay. So just because of size, we've had to reduce the number of pouches in the smaller version. Mm -hmm. So the 15, it has four pouches. Well, it has three pouches and one wrap. So it does one pro size body uh, and three lenses, or you could do one pro size body, a standard size body, and then two lenses. Mm -hmm. So we have a number of different gear layouts and ways to organize your bag up on our uh, product page that you can review. Um, but the sky's the limit really with this bag, and that's what's so fantastic about its flexible usage and carry. Right. I think it's worth mentioning too that because of the way this is designed, it's very compact. If you compare it to a traditional uh, photo backpack that has all the foam, this is very thin. And that's one of the reasons why you know photographers like to travel with this, is because once you load it up, the thickness this way is really, really thin, especially with your laptop on the inside. Yeah. So you can, you know, take it onto those small planes, you know, with confidence, mm -hmm. get it under the seat or in the overhead. It's also very flexible, which again, the backpacks that are primarily made out of foam, they have less flexibility than something like this. Right, it gives you the feeling of more of just a traditional day pack. Yeah, right. it's just a very friendly product to use yeah. when you're out in the field. So that's the Shapeshifter version two from Think Tank Photo. Thanks for watching.